You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Gene. Johnson. From the AfterBuzz studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menounos and Bing.com, and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies, this is AfterBuzz TV's Dancing with the Stars After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. If you'd like to buzz in on tonight's show, you can buzz us at 424-256-1729. That's 424-256-1729. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's After Buzz TV's Dancing with the Stars After Show. You can give him a little shimmy shake if you'd like. Dun -da -da -da. Bing is for doing, and welcome to the AfterBuzz TV After Show for Dancing with the Stars, Season 16, Week Number 8. And I'm your host, Jake Dupree. I'm flying solo tonight from my host. I got Kristen Bird on the phone and Miss Suri Serrano. So stay tuned, boo. But within me, with me in the studio right now, within me, within me right now. <laughs> it's a dancer. Begin. Yes, within me right now. I have possessed something, and these are my possessions. Here we are with Mr. Tristan McManus. Ding dong, hello. Hello. Miss <laughs> Emma Slater. Hi. And Mr. Sasha Farber. What's going on? We are ready for this. So let's just get started with some questions for all of, all of you. We had yeah. our fans do this, so here we are. Emma, this is an interesting question for you. Okay. This is from Becca, and it says, For Emma, have you tried pole dancing, and do you think it should be considered for the Olympics? You're welcome. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, um, I haven't tried it personally, but it is something I would do. I know people that have tried it. It's actually really hard, and it does wonders for your legs, I mm -hmm. hear, In and your thighs. core muscles. Yeah, so I would definitely try it. Um, Olympics? <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure how you would judge that. How would you yeah. judge it? I'll give it a go. Would you, could we, can like you imagine there would be maybe some topless? But some oh, people from like, different countries we go would really we, excel. We should do like different criteria, like sexiness, yeah. athleticism, technique, character, breasts, breasts. We could go there. Maybe. Costume. We could go there. <laughs> Price. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so good question. Opening question. Hi. <laughs> cool. All right. That's where we're going. Tristan, tonight. this is for you. I'm so glad Tristan Tristan is back. Love him. When is he getting a contender? He's due. Question for Tristan is, if you can pick from the celebrity types next season, would you like an actor, a singer, an athlete, or a reality star? Um, I don't know, eh? Who, who, who's the funniest? Hmm. Who do you think? The funniest would probably be like an actor, I would think, or maybe a reality, reality star. Sometimes they're ridiculous. Star. So, all right. Yeah, I, I don't really mind. Once I get a partner, I'll be happy enough. But yeah, someone who's who has a bit of a personality about them, no matter what they do, I think. I'm still bummed that Dorothy is not in the competition because I guarantee you she would have been at this point. I would hope so. Yeah. Yeah, I, so. I, I like her. We think so as well. Yeah. Mm. We what about so. you? Do you like her? I love her. <laughs> <laughs> Good. No, she's such a nice woman. Very nice. Yeah, and I has I, a big, big heart and such great movement quality. Yeah, so right. graceful and elegant. I love her. This is for you two, my dears. Yeah. This is from David, and he is the creator of the Dancing with the Stars Troop fans yeah. Twitter. So oh, shout out to him. That's Hello. Cute. Yay. <laughs> Thank and you. he is asking this: How did the both How did the both of you meet? Where did your passion for dancing start? And what are your thoughts on the remaining couples? We'll just stick with the first two questions. <laughs> so, how did you meet, and when did your passion for dancing start? Okay, go, Sasha. Well, the first time we met was in New York. We were on a show called Burn the Floor mm -hmm. on Broadway. Nice. And then, what was the second question? <laughs> uh, when did your passion for dancing start? Mine started when I was 14. Nice. My, mine started before I even danced. I was so passionate about it. I, I couldn't do it. But I just begged my parents, take me to every single style of dancing class you can find. Wow. And, and then eventually, Latin was the winner because I couldn't, I could not do it. But, I, yeah, I was definitely very passionate even before I could do it. And uh, did you train in other styles of dance as well, any ballet or anything like that? Uh, personally, no. I mean, ballroom dancing is such a 
different form of dance. I mean, like the now nowadays, there's a lot of people in the ballroom world doing the whole balletic thing and trying to get all different styles. A little styles bit of fusion and, in there, yeah. yeah. Yeah, which is great. But when I started, I mean, like the world champion of ballroom dancing years ago, probably couldn't even touch his toes. <laughs> wow. It, yeah. So it's definitely changed. Mm. Interesting. I when I was four, that was the first thing my mum and dad put me into was the ballet, and I had a, a sister as well, so we used to go together. And I was in a, um, a Minnie Mouse recital, oh, but I quit <laughs> after like two years. It's the funniest video, but I quit after two years because um, I, 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 at that age, the teacher was too strict for me. I wasn't having fun anymore. So yeah, it's just it's it's with it's like ballroom dancing there's like a technique to it and you have mm -hmm. to stick to it sometimes and sometimes you can little you kind of have for a little bit of free form with it yeah I sure like that. it's yeah. your own identity yeah for sure this is from anonymous for sasha and emma which one of you is the better driver weird question but thank you though thank you anonymous Th thanks mom yeah <laughs> <laughs> checking on you <laughs> checking on you well you can answer that one Probably, we all... probably Sasha. Well, yeah, probably oh, Sasha. Is, is it the best <laughs> Although, or the safest? If you were to say who's had the least car crashes, that oh, would yeah. be me. Yeah. Oh, hands, yeah. Hands down. Yeah. But, um... Yeah, I was a bit of a troublemaker <laughs> when I was a kid. <laughs> that's okay. That's a good thing. I think that's always a good thing. I think he's so obsessive about the car we have right now that he wouldn't. He's driving like a bit of a granddad today. <laughs> that's probably the smart thing. Exactly. Because exactly. he might run out of gra gas and hit someone. Yeah, exactly. right. No, I don't know who would do that around who here. Who would do but that? Idiots. <laughs> it's stupid. It's so stupid. All right, Tristan. This is yeah, for mate. you. What was your greatest moment on stage? And what does it feel like when motion is perfectly true? And this is from our our Parisian fan, Miss Bibby. Hi. <gasps> I like her. Uh, yes. Um, I've I've had. I've been very lucky with with a lot of the different shows I've done. I suppose. Um, one of my favorite times on stage was probably one of my first shows in in Dirty Dancing. Oh yeah. Yeah, because I really enjoy. I actually I actually joined Dirty Dancing the year after Emma left it. Oh, and um, I think it, I think it was fun because it was it was the first it was the first I say proper show that I'd done in in uh, the West End in London, so that was something totally new for me and it was something that I I didn't ever expect or aspire to do. Mm -hmm. So um, I think it was it was just something so different for me that I really loved that. But uh, as a whole, uh, being on stage, I mean, when when I done burn the floor, it was something totally different for me as well. And I and I have a lot of good memories from Burn the Floor, so I really enjoyed my time there. But I think the one stick out one was probably was probably the first show in that Dirty Dancing. Very cool. And what does it feel like when you are dancing and things? What is that movement like for all of you? We got that question a lot. When is the mm -hmm. movement really true when you feel something? Okay, babe. <laughs> okay. Um, I think when you're in the moment, um, mm -hmm. you're definitely in the moment. Time, time kind of stops, mm -hmm. and you you get to be someone. I mean, when we were on stage, you get to be someone who you you're not, or someone that you can't be. So That's definitely, true. when I mean, like three seconds can feel like two days on stage because you feel every <laughs> moment and you're in the moment. Mm. I f I feel like the line for me between being reality to then getting crossed into being completely somewhere else is cr I cross it I feel like I cross it quite easily and it, it happens when the music's on and I listen to the music and it's something of a um I'm just aspiring to something that I want or yeah. something that I'm feeling and I, I just find I just find even listening to music walking down the street it happens all the time um so I I get I guess that's just yeah, yeah it's just the music that triggers it for me even even like coming up with numbers or doing numbers, if you think about it, a number is maybe one minute and thirty seconds, but mm -hmm. it takes maybe ten hours to put that together. Mm. What does it feel like when it all comes together for you? Is it just is it like giving birth almost, where it's just like this <laughs> beautiful? I it's exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like this beautiful magical moment I'll that let you, you know create. In nine exactly. yeah. <laughs> let me know. Let me know. It's great. Yeah, I think the, the, the like I said, the, when you're amongst all that kind of madness of putting everything together and worrying about if it's going to be right or wrong, and then getting caught up with the audience how loud they are, how loud the music is. I think if you can find that split second, kind of like what Sasha said it almost feels as though the time stops and stuff. If you have that split second where you actually catch the eye with the person you're dancing with, mm. and, and for however long or however short it is, if, if the both of you kind of get that feeling that this feels pretty good, you know what I mean? And it could, it could be just something as simple as catching the yeah. eyes. Because, you, because you're so concentrated on something, you're going for it. And there's, there's always that little moment where, where someone 
kind of looks up for a second and you both see each other and, and you forget what you're doing for that second. I think that's a, that's a, a very powerful moment and it's, it's certainly very enjoyable when you're there. I always enjoy it when the dances, especially towards the end of the season on this show and in life in general, when people breathe together when they mm, dance. Exactly, I think yeah, that is so sure. lovely because the so audience important. just absorbs that yeah. too and is right there with you and mm. I love that. I mm. think that's what's good about what we do. Um, mm -hmm. There's a man and woman dancing together so there's two people dancing together. And like in the other, I mean ballet. <laughs> it's making me laugh. Sorry, we ca this is this is a problem when us two are in the same room. This is there's that's a lot okay. Of Keep it coming. <laughs> no, I think with our form of dance, it's a partnership. So there's always people relying on people. At <laughs> <laughs> okay. All of you. All of you. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's keep going. <laughs> um, no, what I was trying to say, like with jazz or like hip hop, it's more solo. But what mm -hmm. we do is it relies on two people, which is a lot harder. Um, like with lifts and uh, relying on the person and connection, and that's what Tristan was talking about when you have mm -hmm. that connection with that dance partner for that first time or that three seconds. That's an amazing feeling. Mm -hmm. That's what is. You have to rely on the on the partnership coming together as opposed to just rely like sometimes you can rely on yourself when you're dancing solo and you just kind of push through stuff but when you're dancing with somebody you have to rely on each other and it's that moment when you're when you actually i guess i don't know i guess set, set, yeah well that's it yeah mm -hmm. that is it what do you feel about the new styles of dance that are being added to the show do you like that they're adding kind of the contemporaries and the jazz and the afro jazz and all those things I, afro jazz what's afro jazz i was mm -hmm. on the same page as mark there i was like i would actually kind of be intrigued to get it so that i could listen to the music and like figure out figure what, out what it yeah. is yeah. <laughs> but um i think it's great for i think it's great for the the latin dancers the professionals on the show because they get a chance to explore and do contemporary and and that that again is that same it, it's the same feeling the same passion mm -hmm. so i think it's great for them um and of course you know they there's a wider spectrum of dances that the audience get to see so i i really appreciate it i like it a lot as a viewer i really enjoy these new styles because it's i like crazy. seeing the ballroom choreographers choreographing mm. to these kind mm -hmm. of almost freestyle improv uh -huh. dances yeah. i think it's really cool because the partnering is effortless. Yeah. When in terms, sometimes I find in different contemporary dances and things like that, people just kind of flinging themselves yeah. and some of the lifts don't make sense, but I feel like there's always a connection that blends really well with the Definitely. ballroom choreographers. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. I think so, yeah. You have, to find, you have to find that, sorry, you have to find that balance. I actually don't particularly like it. Mm -hmm. and, 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 the, and the reason for that is, I mean, I do think it's great. And I think if, if that's what the audience want to see, well, that's what you have to give them. But, but I just, I just, I think there's a big difference in in teaching something that you know and teaching something that you don't know. So I think I, so. I'd imagine for for them weeks, what what I'd like to happen is is someone who's actually trained in in, in whatever style or genre that is. If they come in and and teach the couple together, oh, for, that would even, be... even for a day, just so we know what we're working with, and then for the rest of the week, well, then we work with this. We try interpret that as a teacher, and they interpret as a student, and then we continue to teach them, and that and that way we know what we're teaching. I, rem I remember Val, uh, not Val, uh, Max one season had uh, Mandy Moore come in for him and Aaron Andrews had a right. contemporary piece for their mm -hmm. freestyle. I thought that was really interesting because it's mm -hmm. nice to have someone that that's their expertise yeah. kind of kind of set a piece and then so. they perfect it within yeah. themselves. For sure. I, I, I think that would be better because I, I think I think it would be um, uh, respectful for the people who, who, who train that as well as a, as a contemporary dancer. If, 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 we're, uh, if a ballroom dancer is teaching contemporary, I, I'd, I'd imagine contemporary dancers at home would probably feel a bit grieved about it, you know what I mean? To kind of mm. go, well, what you're teaching that for is not right. And blah, blah. You know what I mean? I think it's just to say, to say it's true to whatever the genre is, it should be someone who knows how to do it. Mm -hmm. I, this is for you, and we'll get into this as we get into the dances, but how did you feel about Lynn going crazy on during <laughs> him and Ke during his critique of Kelly and Derek's dance? Yeah, right? you. Um, yeah well, I mean, it was, it, to be honest, it was unexpected, but um, I, th I, think it, I think that's, that's someone's opinion. Um, I, I don't agree with it, but but I don't think it's 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 up to anyone to say who's right or wrong about something. I personally don't agree with it, and I and I um I don't think that you need to do a chasse cape to do a passado. I've never seen a bullfighter do a chasse cape in my life. 
You know what I mean? And I and I think what Kelly did now was was certainly the characteristics of a Paso Doble, and I think that's the thing that's most important. Because if if you want to see a Chasse Cape to see if someone can do a Paso Doble, well, then you look back on all the weeks that you've judged them, which has been eight weeks so far, and you can see someone step to the side, close their feet, and step to the side. You can see that. Mm -hmm. But what you don't see is you don't see the intensity, or you don't see the power, or you don't see the dynamics of the Paso Doble until you actually do a Paso Doble. And to me, that that was everything that was there. I, th I think um, the most important thing, if, if you freeze frame any part of that Paso Doble, you'll see the shapes that are required in a Paso Doble, I not a particular step. I completely mm -hmm. agree, and the whole mm -hmm. social media world went crazy over mm -hmm. this. I mean, I we got imagine. so many mm -hmm. comments and things that we had to kind of weed through because it was all the same thing, being like, what is going on? I mean, what mm -hmm. did you two think about that seven? That was I, so random. Yeah, I mean, it could have easily, we were all, before the judges commented, we were all thinking, right, 10, 10, 10, easily. And then, of course, it was, it was, it was 10, 7, 10. And it was like, it, that's such a three point for, I mean, for that, for the lack, for a lack of any kind of step. It wasn't, it, I don't think it was justified a seven at mm. all. Do you think it was for maybe for drama a little bit? I too? think um, mm. that routine was definitely the routine of the night. And I the, agree. And the story was clear. And like Tristan said, if you were to watch that in mute, you could know what dance it was because of the characterization and the shaping that they were doing. So, I mean, by far, that was the winning dance of the night, I thought. But I, th I think from, from Derek's point of view, it, it showed a clear... Whether you take it as the whole night, I mean, they had two dances, and they had such contrast in dances that it had to, it had to be that intense. And I think if you look at the show as a whole, well, then it was like the first part was a nice, beautiful Viennese walls. The second was a complete opposite. If you take it as a dance on its own, it had all the characteristics that you need into it. Mm -hmm. I completely I, that, agree. That, that's just what I think. But again, it's not to say Len was right or wrong. I do think that maybe he went a bit overboard to prove a point, which he tends to do sure, sometimes. Sure. I mean, sometimes, I, I can't remember when it was, but I remember, I remember I'd done some sort of ballroom dance, and he praised me over it. I hadn't really done nothing, you know what I mean? But it was just it was just to make a point that going, this is what it should be, blah, blah, blah. So I get it. But, I mean, it doesn't really matter, you know what I mean? It doesn't matter what yeah. he thinks. It's one, for every one lend, there was four or five other people. It's also a TV show, you yeah. know? And, of course. And if it was all, I mean, it would have been great if it was all. If everyone got tens, the show would be boring. Mm. Definitely, for sure. I will say one more thing. I think that... Um, Sometimes Len, Len is very, very traditional, which is it, which is very, very much his style. You know, that's not for me to say. Um, he's very traditional, and I think Derek, um, Derek puts such a display, like a massive, huge production into each and every one of his numbers in a very creative way that I think sometimes Len thinks it overshadows the actual dancing, mm -hmm. which it doesn't because she's a fabulous dancer. And as like Tristan was saying, it was every bit of Paso Doble. But uh, but I sometimes think that that Len thinks it it means more to them to get a sneaky lift in or to get the like the the breaking the mirror or something i think that i think that would probably have, have been len's tipping point mm -hmm. yeah i knew that from the moment it started yeah. i was like oh he's gonna have a problem <laughs> yeah, but yeah. i was like maybe he'll overlook it because i thought the shapes again and the power of that dance and yeah. the judges have been asking kelly to really bring the character but sure. she brought it so she had to you know and mm -hmm. i don't think they had any more theatrics than anything else. like maybe maybe the fact that there was a glass that smashed I mm. thought it was pretty cool. Mm. But by, yeah. by that, I don't think there was any, any different to whatever's there. I mm. mean, there's always flashing lights and there's always fog on the ground. There's always yeah. heavy music. Yeah. It's, it, that's what it is. So this is the last question, and Sorry. then we'll get into yeah. the little dances, commenting about the dances. But Jonathan Calderon, hi. Oh, he yeah. he but said, I, uh, who do you think will win the mirror ball, or who would you like to see win? And we'll get into the <clears throat> dances after that. Good. Who would we like to like win? Like to win. Um... That's a diff the difficult one. I from the start I thought it would be Jacoby, mm -hmm. and I would still kind of secretly like him to win because I think he has natural rhythm. Um, and on top of the natural rhythm, he's he's um, really getting a good hold of the understanding of all the steps and everything. Um, but uh, but then I mean you, there's this. It's incredible. There's Zendaya, there's Kelly, there's Ali, um, there's Ingo as well. It's just they're so, they're all so good. Mm -hmm. I, I I actually don't know who's going to win. I would this one. I I would go for Val and Zendaya. I think personally, she's re I mean, if you watch from week one to week wherever we are now, week eight, week nine, she's really improved. And I mean, I can say the same for the rest of them. Mm -hmm. um, but I I think Val and Zendaya might take it out. 
What do yeah. you think? Yeah, I mean, anyone could. I mean, the same as Emma. I think at the start, everyone would have probably picked Jacoby before he even started. Mm. So before I would have picked Jacoby, um, I always go for Val. And uh, I think this could be the year that he wins it. I think Derek and Kelly are unbelievable. They could definitely win it. And mm. I think Ali could win it because she's, she's the underdog. And it's hard to look at someone with so much talent and go, well, they're the underdog. But I think everyone's kind of picked the last three. I didn't realize yeah. it was four in the final. I thought there was only three. Oh, yeah. The yeah this but um, I think final. definitely think that, that Ali and Mark are the underdogs. <laughs> uh, but I do think that maybe um, Zendaya and Kelly will probably battle it out for the end. Mm. We had Shirley Ballas on with us last week, and she made a good point. She said, Sean Johnson was in she was kind of the underdog out of the three that were in her first finals mm -hmm. and that's i feel like that's where ali stands too mm -hmm. yeah for sure it's, yeah. it's easy to compare them of course because they're gymnasts but yeah, yeah, you know yeah, yeah. I, she, she I kind of snuck yeah she snuck on the um ali snuck under you know what i mean because everyone was so uh groped by what was going on with everyone else so i think she snuck in and, and i think once it does come down to, to only the four couples you get to see them much quicker so so you have a quicker amount of time to um to, I guess, compare. Definitely. So let's get started with talking about the dances. Yes. First yes. up is Zendaya and Val with the Foxtrot. Thoughts? Go ahead. <laughs> I really liked it. I love the song, mm -hmm. Straight From The Off. And, um, yeah, I think I think I think everything about the uh, uh, sorry everything about the foxtrot was great. I mean, you, you can't forget about the height difference. Yeah. And I, uh, but I think with this dance, for the shapes that they pulled and stuff that that you did for that second, I, and I think it was fun to watch, and it was I really liked it. Uh, his choreography was so good, beautiful. And the second they, and I think Len said something about uh, when she, when she got into hold. Oh, I, th I think it was Len, but um, I, I remember feeling the same thing. As soon as they took hold, her shape was so, so professional. It was it was beautiful. Like, she had mm. an amazing, amazing frame. Oh, actually, I think it was Carrie, um, Carrie Ann that said that. Um, yeah, her frame was just phenomenal. Elongated, super elongated. I know, elongated. yeah, it was really stunning. She um, she she did the foxtrot really well, and it, it's very difficult, the ballroom dances. I kind of find, um, even though you're in closer contact, you know, it's really hard to keep, it's really hard to keep that frame. It's a lot um, of things for people to remember that yeah. are typically yeah, right. dance, you know, ballroom course, dancers. Yeah. But yeah, it was really, and a really good choreography, so I think Val did really well there too. What do mm. you think? Um, yeah, like, even with the height difference, um, the rise and fall was really, really good, mm -hmm. and then her shape was amazing, and mm. the choreography was really, really good, and the song really suited them too. Don't worry, be happy. Oh yeah, it was mm -hmm. just it was so nice because she when she comes on the floor, she usually has that commanding yeah. kind of fierce presence, and it was nice to see her almost dance like the girl that she is because she's like, not yet a woman, mm -hmm. but she's has that youthful edge that I think really adds to that dance, and I loved it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What did you think about the scores? Uh, two nines and a 10, 28 out of 30? Yeah, just a I think that's good. That's, mm -hmm. that's yeah. actually pretty good. I mean, amazing. Especially for the first dance, too, yeah. because yeah. they kind of yeah, right. you know, don't want to give it all away, I don't mm -hmm. think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They had a very good night. I loved that. Second up was Sean and Peter with the tango. Um, Shoot. <laughs> yeah, I think, I've, I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like he, um, I would love to say he's really... Um, kept being consistent, but I kind of, I do kind of feel like he hasn't been yes. all that consistent every I agree. now and then. And um, I thought, I, I don't know if maybe the competition's got a lot stronger, but um, I wasn't, I wasn't <coughs> madly struck with it. Yeah. I mean, tango, tango is notoriously difficult, but I, I just think it was made perhaps a bit, a little like clunky. I, Karian said that she thought that his musicality wasn't that great, but I felt that this was probably his best musical moment mm -hmm. where mm -hmm. I felt like he was really listening to the music, though I don't think his uh, the technique was really there. Yeah. I think yeah. that he was really trying. And I appreciate that about him, that he really tries. Yeah. That's a good thing. I think Yeah, for sure. And I think it's like, I, this sounds negative, but I don't mean in a negative way at all. Tango is a little bit like Paso in the sense that mm -hmm. when, you, when you have them heavy beats, it's, it's, it's good for someone who, who, who's a little bit more stiff mm -hmm. because if you are stiff well then you'll definitely hit them and I think that's what he focused on and, and I think that's great to be honest I didn't actually see it because I was getting ready for the next dance oh, yeah. <laughs> but, 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 but certainly that, that's what I imagine and that's what I take from that and, and I think that's where his musicality is it was a really good idea the whole like wedding dress yeah. running uh, down I thought that was really I'm gonna like, disagree <laughs> you're gonna disagree <laughs> oh no I like, I like that I like the differing opinions no, I, I totally I love think that he, and the end was cute he, they need I mean They've been awesome during the competition, but I think they've been playing the same card all the time, like the whole bachelorette and We're the wedding. We're getting married. Yeah. And there's, a, oh, really? and there's a rose and this and that. And I think tango 
he's such a powerful and grounded dance and they kind of started off in a chapel flying running down the stairs and it felt just a little bit rushed that's the same liking. thing i thought it, but, I, I thought mean overall it was really really good like i'm not saying they were horrible and bad but i would have loved to see him play a different character yeah I thought that the whole running down the stairs, I felt like it was like going there too fast. Like a, there was no build into the dance. Like he was rushing to get down those stairs. And then whenever he hit the floor, it was like, oh God, oh God, I gotta hit them. Yeah, I gotta get yeah, on this yeah, music. Yeah. So it was strange. Yeah, but, but I think that, that comes into it then as well about setting the scene for the dance. No matter what it is, you, you, it, it, it's a performance. No matter what it is, you, you have to set the scene mm. of the dance, and that's whether it is the same thing again, it's, you, you can't take it. You have to take everything dance per dance. Because it has to be. You have to assume that it's always your last dance or it's always your first dance. That's and true. and, and I, I know as a, as a show, it's, it's, that's all you can do. Because you, you watch them one week, you wait for the next week, and then you compare it to how they're going. But I, but I think as, as, as far as performances go, you have to take them as individual performances all the time. And if, and if that's what works, um, well, then, well, then you keep doing it. But, I mean, you don't have to see it again because he's not doing it. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> no, and that's he, a shame. That's a again, shame. I don't mean that in a bad way. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And he got three sevens, 21 out of 30. Mm -hmm. At this point in the competition, that's you know, I would expect yeah. that he would go uh, home. And I think, that's the, so. uh, I think that's the only thing to think of. It's, it, at this stage of the competition, that's all you can base it on. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Next up was Jacoby and Karina with the waltz. I thought this was lovely. It I thought that beautiful. he just skimmed that floor so nicely. He's got such... For such a big guy, he's so light on his feet, and I love yeah. that. Did you see that bit where he picked her up and she got like? Did her feet not come off the ground then a little bit? They did a little bit. Yeah, because it was just really impressive. Though. I so know. Maybe they just let it go. Like maybe they let it go. Huge, huge, huge. <laughs> he just kind of like throws her around. But yeah, I really liked it too. I like the I like the song. I just thought it was mm -hmm. it was um. He's just a, he for me. He just makes me smile. He's, <clears> he's <throat> great. Yes, yeah. and, yeah. and again the lighting on that one, the atmosphere uh -huh, of those uh -huh. of that dance. So That's yeah, it. And, and, he did miss he did miss her hand just a little bit. I just saw a that. little bit at the start. Did he? Yeah. But overall. But yeah, as yeah. A, again, as a performance, it was a performance. This man's role. This is yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, so as far as a, as a man and a woman dance together, that, that was exactly what happened. Whether mm -hmm. it was technique it's or not, it doesn't, that was the story that happened. That, that's what happened. And he definitely danced as a man. And the whole story was a man. He picked her up, whatever. Ripped the shirt open, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? You don't know what I mean. <laughs> but I mean, we're forgetting, like, these people do a new dance, sometimes two dances Course. every yeah. week. And, I mean, we train for years and years with the same dances. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's only a few times when we change the choreography and do the same competitions over and over again. And these guys do a new dance, new style every week, hands down to them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For sure. And I think that he wows the crowd every time he gets yeah, on the exactly. floor. So yeah, that's the important character. thing. He'll yeah. be in the finals. We all know this. Yeah. Like, we, hope so. honest. we hope well, so. Well, I hope so. Really hope so. Yeah. Oh, he was in the bottom too. I know. So, it has I mean, been the, the week before as well. Mm -hmm. So you never know. Oh. Next up was Ingo and Kim with the Foxtrot. I thought that this was his best dance so far on the show. I thought that he had a relaxed ease, whereas before he's usually very stiff. And I was mm -hmm. kind of surprised because mm -hmm. he has such a big personality. And I felt like this finally showed like that personality. It finally came yeah. out. I feel like... Um, it I feel like in the past he has um, doubted his confidence a little bit because um, it was um, it was Tony and I that did the lens couple side by side challenge and I remember he had really a, a hard time uh, with the cha cha. It, 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 Kim, granted, Kim had put a lot of steps in there, but he was at that point he was kind of self doubting himself and mm. I feel like the last two weeks they've been really shocked that they're still in the competition and he's um Takes got this off. yeah he's got this new faith and um and he's he's just dancing so much more confidently now and Kim's mm. Kim's pretty gobsmacked like she's she's over the moon he's enjoying it a lot you can tell and yeah the fo I love that fox <laughs> shot was brill it was mm. really brilliant they love the he loves the performance lights and I, and I think that I think that is the, that is the big thing it's the confidence thing and 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 maybe as maybe as much as everyone who's looking at it and kind of go well this is who's going to make the final this is going to make the final. you probably start to think that himself now as well and it's exactly. got to the stage there that where maybe um, maybe he knows maybe there's a week or two left 
So he's actually able to enjoy it now. Totally. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, and you can see the big, big difference there. So. And they were the first ones to be made safe. And by the way, I did know. you see Kim Johnson's face? <laughs> that Her was hilarious. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> I was hilarious. happy for them. I, oh, I mean, yeah. I, those soap fans, they are serious. Soap opera fans are right? diehard. Oh, yeah. And I think that's, I, I'm anxious to see what, if next week, if he comes up with these decent scores, like all mm -hmm. eights and things, and see where that carries mm -hmm. him. I mean, you never know. You never know. Have Charleston next week, right? Yes, yeah. I think that'll suit him so well. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. she'll love that. She's probably over the moon. <laughs> what do you think about it? Um, yeah, I definitely think it suit the ballroom dancers suit him a lot more um, than the Latin ones. I personally think so. He really sat into it and kind of enjoyed himself, and you can see that in his dancing straight away. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> That's it. That's all. <laughs> Period. Bye. See you guys. So they got all eights, 24 out of 30. Uh -huh. Pretty good. Yeah. I, I mean, he's that's consistently his yeah. Yeah. top yeah, right? score. So I think it's deserved for that. Next up was Kelly and Derek with the Viennese Waltz. I thought this... It was j she is so genuine and relatable. Oh, Anything gosh. that she does, I'm just like, I, I'm obsessed with you. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. she's fantastic. Yeah, she's brilliant. And the flow in her arms... Because a lot of people criticized her, a lot of social media things that we get comments is that she's very jagged in the things mm -hmm. she does. But that's her background in cheerleading I and things that. like that. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I thought she really worked on her arms this week, and it was stunning, mm -hmm. just beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think the, I think the main difference is probably that they had. Um, uh, I'm, I know Carrie Ann was saying before that she doesn't relate. You know what I mean? She mm -hmm. kind of does the steps and stuff, and she needed to see her actually relate. To do the dance, and I, and I think the fact that you now whether this was just a package thing or not, I don't know, but it was. Yeah. But the fact that they brought brought up this story at the start, and, and she was actually able to relate, it, mm -hmm. it it became more than a dance for her then, and I think that's where the arms come into it because mm -hmm. it's not put your arm here, all right, or put your hand there. There was more, there was more to it this time. I think so. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, each week, each each week, she's really lit, tr trust. You can see she's trusting Derek more and more and more every week. She's mm -hmm. really getting into the flow of things and. Like even watching the foxtrot, it wasn't as stiff because her body, even like, even when they weren't in frame, she was her arms were soft. It wasn't choreographed arms. It was finishing up, mm. finishing off the extension of the body. It was really really good, mm. oh, great mm. to watch. Yeah. yeah, and they got twenty eight out of thirty. I thought that there should have been another ten in there, but yeah, you know, if they got, they have they can't just give all these exactly. tens away. Yeah, right. Of course, yeah. of course, ten, ten, ten. Yes, and I. This is really funny that you all mentioned time standing still when you perform because I literally wrote. I thought time stood still during there that dance. Go. It just seems Sorry. kind of frozen, and she was just letting it go because she was yeah. Yeah, relating so. to it emotionally. Yeah, it's a bit, It's one of my favorite dances as a as a ballroom dance. Um, it because you can be. It's that. It's not slow, but it's. People say it has a lack of like choice of steps in there, but actually it just means there's a there's a surplus of emotion you can put in, mm. and I feel like um, uh, th that's probably the most that they worked on. Or that's mm. what that's what she she told me um, during rehearsal. She was trying mm. to work on that emotion because um, of uh, you know being. Does it like an emotional linger in it? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's beautiful mm. to dance. And I felt like they were breathing together. Like, I felt yeah. the audience mm -hmm. was just captivated mm -hmm. by that. I loved it. Mm -hmm. it. And last but not least was Ali and Mark with the Argentine tango. Mm -hmm. I thought, I, I actually <laughs> loved the lighting. I thought the presentation of it was great. I don't know if it was my favorite dance for her. She got two tins, which I think, I think is well-deserved because I think she's amazing. Mm -hmm. But I felt I could see her almost guessing where she was going. I don't know if that was just me that saw that, but... I'm going to be honest, up, yeah. I, I don't think I saw that number. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I must have missed that one. Uh, just a big game I saw it. I saw it. Mm -hmm. um, I rem she was walking around. I mean, the character of it, she was kind of, you know, the Argentine mm -hmm. tang, the prostitute. And that's what she was walking around saying, oh, I've got to be a prostitute and this and that. And it was kind of <laughs> really? funny. <laughs> you were going to say, I've got to be a prostitute. I've got to be a prostitute. She was walking around. Where's this going? And um, I think she did a really good job. She pulled that, She pulled off the character really, really well. Yes. I mean, you can tell she's young and she's shy and she, she's, very, she's a very bubbly girl mm. when you talk to her. She's mm -hmm. always happy and... It's always great to see her, even if you're like in a bad mood and you see her, you straight away change. <laughs> but I mean, like yeah, they started on the table and he pulled her in, and her legs were wrapped around, and they ha they kind of had the whole dark. Mark had a hat mm. on, right. yeah. and they kind of had the whole um, darkness Argentine tango, like kind of dancing outside in the street kind of thing. So I think that was really really good. I think her attitude and her 
personality really deserved a 10 in that yeah. because I felt yeah. she really brought it out. Mm -hmm. And I felt her outfit, because sometimes I have an issue with sometimes the ways she looks in her outfits, but I thought that she looked amazing. Yeah. I saw her outfit. Gorgeous. 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 It was really gorgeous. I think it's, uh, I think if, if, if you can, if you can judge it on the, on the person, there's, there's a, there was a, it was, it was a great performance because like I said, how, how different Ali is. And, and I mm. think unfortunately Ali is, um, doesn't get the credit that she deserves because you forget that she's young because mm -hmm. Zendaya is so young. Yeah. And I think any other season, Ali would be the, the young person. In yeah. the, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and you'd have a different perspective on it. But because Zendaya is the young, the young kid in this season, that, that kind of Ali probably I, doesn't get the... Uh, uh, I don't know what the word is, but she certainly doesn't... You, for, you just forget. You just forget. And maybe that's a good thing. Maybe it is a good thing that you forget because maybe she's doing something that you don't expect her to do, but she's yes. not going to get that... That's why she's the underdog, I think. Yeah. Uh, so that's the first quarter in a little dance sense. And so I want to give a little bit of questions again. How did you two become troop members? Well, Sasha became troop member first. Um, oh, you know. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> um, it's funny. I've always, I did Dancing with Stars in Australia, um, and I love the show, and I've always wanted to do it here, and um, just kind of applied, and then... They saw my resume, and then I didn't get in the first time, and then the second time I got in. Find evil. Because we were there together. Right. Um, and then I. I, uh, I didn't get in the first time. <laughs> I told them not to. We had <laughs> only been together um, uh, literally a few months, and he got asked to go into the Dancing with the Stars. And I kind of, I was so happy for him, but kind of at the same time I was like, oh, no, you know, it's great. I'm probably just going to Jealous is the word. go on with my life. <laughs> <laughs> um, but then I ended up... Love um, is the word. <laughs> <laughs> we ended up staying together and uh, I went out to visit him um, halfway through the season. Uh, I finished with Burn the Floor, which we were both on. Mm. And then um, Sash sent me up with a, uh, an, e an email, an uh, interview, <laughs> and it went really well. And then they ended up calling me um, for the next season. How can That's they so not, exciting. baby? How can they not? Mm. Thank you. <laughs> the thing that I love about the two of you in, in all the group dances, I can always, always my eyes go to the two of you. Oh, that's Seriously, sweet. I'm not. I'm. I'm being completely honest. Is it because I'm obnoxious? I think you. <laughs> yeah, right. You. I love watching you because it, so it, it makes me want to get into the dance when I watch oh, awesome. you because you're such. It's you're like a little stick of dynamite and you just like go for it. And I love that. That's the best thing anyone can say to a dancer. Um, what you just said. So mm -hmm. that's awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and while you're watching us right now, you can go over to iTunes tomorrow or whenever you like and subscribe to us. Give us five stars because that's what we would like. Bam. You can give us four if you like, but five is awesome. <laughs> so let's move into the trios. Now, this was, I always love this part of the season whenever they introduce this because mm -hmm. I think it brings this whole element of amazingness. So first up was Zendaya, Val, and Gleb for the salsa shoot. Yep. Yeah. Well. I, I watched the dress run and I was like, ooh, okay, this is going to be interesting. And then they, it actually was amazing. The energy that they had, the, the choreography that Val put together, the storyline and the dancing and the speed of the dance was spot on for me. I loved it. Mm. I loved everything about it. I loved the little stop in the middle. <laughs> she had this fluidity with the arms going on and she, like her face said it all. She like com she completely knew it. She wasn't thinking about the steps. She, she mm -hmm. was a true dancer because she wasn't thinking about the steps at all and she kept up with everything. It was like she'd been doing it all her life. It was impressive, yeah. just beyond impressive. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it was just funny when they, I have to say one thing, when, they, <laughs> when Val went to give her a high five at the end, and she, they, for the encore, she got it, <laughs> but she didn't do it for, for Monday's show, and it just made me laugh a little bit, because he was like, ooh, <laughs> oh, oh, <all> right. <laughs> okay, <laughs> next time. <laughs> it was uh, it was my my favorite dance of the night, to be honest with you. I, I mean, like, I, I, I really in, enjoyed uh, doing the dance uh, with, with Derek and Kelly, but, but I think it was my favorite dance in the sense that, that they were totally, they were totally, as, as a, as a Sorry, I know I'm jumping between people, no, but 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 as as this as a salsa here, it's it's such a fun dance to watch straight mm -hmm. away. So so even before they start dancing, when the music comes on straight away, it gets you, and and you're smiling all the way through it, and then you're smiling, reacting to everything that's going yes. on, and then because it's getting so good, it builds and builds and builds and builds, 
and and I think that's that's what made it my favorite dance. I th I, th I thought it was super, and I, th mm. I thought they'd done a great job on it. But but I think it it just shows the difference with how much I enjoyed dancing with Kelly and Derek. I think that was a great dance. Mm -hmm. I, I thought it was super to watch. But but it's not the type of dance when it finishes that you smile. You know what I mean? You might yes. smile and kind of go, oh, that was that was really really good, really clever, blah blah. But but certainly with the salsa, once it smiles, you're kind of, you're already built up. You know what I mean? And, and you're kind of smiling all the way through it, so you want to just keep clapping. You want to just keep clapping. So it's a, it's a different type of feeling, but it, it was that was my favorite dance in life. Amazing. I think also, too, I mean, the pros must get really, really nervous and the celebs when, when it comes to a week where there's two dancers. But once they actually get them and it's the day to perform the dance, I'm, I can nearly bet $100 that the actual celebrities are so much more comfortable because it's the second dance and they've already been on, the nerve is kind of gone. <laughs> so they always have so much more fun in their second dance because that's already got, the nerves is already gone and they're actually been on that floor and they've danced already and it's like, okay, now we can have fun. Yes, and I thought their encore performance was unbelievable. Yeah, was I great, thought eh? there was just such ease and so much fun. I was just fun. joking about that $100 bet. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, this is a question that I, that came up for me while watching it because I noticed that a few of the steps I was nervous that Lynn wouldn't give them a 10 because of some of like the hip hop elements mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and someone actually wrote this in that she said she loved the salsa trio she said it was very unique and different but can the pros give some insight into the different styles of salsa mm -hmm. like can you incorporate those definitely, things definitely. in definitely yeah. yeah salsa has such a I mean salsa the name is exactly what it is a mixture of things put together and salsa has such there's so many different styles it has such a Cuban groove to it and a, like a, a hip hop groove to it and a, they dance on one or they dance on two so yeah. there's so many different things I think she, she, the groove that she had was very very hard to get <laughs> it's such a natural groove and no it's really really good I think across the board as teachers go there's um there's two general concepts what half half the people prefer to dance on one half the people teach it dancing on the two so that's the big main difference like um with uh, with the salsa you know uh, whether you dance on the one or dance on the two um but stylistically it, it's um it's a complete um uh result of your personality it's a complete extension of your mm. of your your choice of your character. Like so what you're bringing into it. Yeah, you can it. make yeah. it a really sexy... Interpretations. Yeah, it is your uh, complete interpretation. You can make it a real sultry, sexy salsa, or you can make it like Zendaya did. It was kind of like... It reminded me... It did remind me of The Lion King for some reason. Like, it was real... <laughs> it was so fun and fresh and young and, and um, fruity rather yes. than rather than sexy. <laughs> right. yeah. it's, a, it's the same as everything like I was saying before. It's, it's the characteristics of mm. each dance that, that have to be there. And the characteristics of the dance is what makes it the dance. It's not the steps. Yes. You because, can... because all the steps, no matter what dance it is, are all the same. You're yeah. already going yeah. forward, backwards, to the side, you're causing your feet, whatever totally it is you're doing. True. You know what I mean? So it's an interpretation of the music and, and showing them different elements. That's what I think. Very cool. Mm. <laughs> so they got a perfect 30, which gave them a 58 out of 60. Yep. Amazing, that was of course. Yep. Sean, Peter, and Sharna were next with the jazz. The best word to describe uh, this for me, I'm just going to be honest, was awkward. Yeah. I thought the two girls, they looked unbelievable. Mm -hmm. And whenever she came out of the box, I was like, I love you, Sharna. You're just so gorgeous. And then Peter, her legs are ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. I just thought they looked amazing. But the dance was not my favorite. I feel like it didn't. I feel like it didn't um, move. It wasn't very dynamic, um, and I feel like Sean is capable of uh, of of that. Really but getting it, across the yeah, floor. Yeah, like I felt like it stood it stood still, and there was a couple of like magic gimmicks. And, I think, and I'm like jazz. You know, it needs to be it needs to be popping. Somehow. Has that little bit of flash? In yeah, it, yeah, even if it mm. is to do with magic and all that, it sh it should still be about the dancing. Yeah. Um, yeah, so and I don't think that was the girl's fault at all, or, or Sean's. I just think it it was it could have it could have, like you said, it could have been better. Yeah, but I I think I think it was uh, as a performance as a spectacle, it was good. And and on whatever you do is is whether it's the cover up stuff or whatever it is, you know mm. what I mean. I, I I do think that sometimes, what gets lost is how difficult it is to do a trio as well. Mm. Oh, uh, I, because I think I think people imagine oh well this is one more professional it must be easy, but but. I'd imagine that the tour, the the second pro is sometimes a hindrance more than a help because you have to you have to fit someone into that. Yeah. I know I know we had issues when we were trying to put the, the pass all together in that it was like, right, well we'll do this, that looks great. I was like, right, well what are you gonna do then? Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's like it's kinda of taken away by putting that person in, you know mm. what I mean? But but um 
that's why I think sometimes maybe you have to focus on the performance. And I think that's probably what they did then, as in as it make it more of a spectacle. But but I think the only thing you can compare them Sean's own movements in that was probably to the one that he done when he was like the the lifeguard the leading lifeguard. Oh, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah. And and you can see certain things even even when his hands going that it looked a little bit different to how he done it before. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But but I think. As that, as a spectacle, it, it, it was quite, it was a little bit what what happened with Andy at times in, in, in Andy's yeah. number. So you can see the influence there as well. But um, yeah, it was what it was. I think he he definitely drew the short stick there. Um, I think when when they do have episodes when they add contemporary and they add different styles, I think it's important that everyone else in the competition does something that they're not comfortable <coughs> with. And I think everyone else had either ballroom. Or, or Latin, mm -hmm. and it felt like he he had jazz where also, once again, contemporary is done beautifully with two people. Ballroom is done beautifully with two people. I personally think jazz is done better when you're doing a solo. Yes. So when you're trying to compare two people trying to do jazz, it's like one of those, it's not, it's a bit cheesy to me, I personally think. So it was hard to judge Sean on that because you can see he was really, really trying, and it's something that it just looked a bit awkward at times because only because the, the number before him was a Latin number or a Borum number, and it's it was true. kind it's of. It's gonna be tough to follow that. It was yeah. kind of thrown in the mix, unfortunately, that he had to do jazz, which is also probably the hardest dance out of all the other styles to do as a couple, let mm -hmm. alone I agree. three. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because there's so, so many different aspects, like the contemporary jazz exactly. and like Fosse style jazz exactly. and things like that. It's, Difficult, yeah. I so, for him on so that what, one. I mean, point. actually, I never even thought about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it what, is what a really he, good point. What he did, I thought he probably should have got more, <laughs> more than what he like I, sevens that he got because he, it was the hardest out of everything he did. Oh, I think he. I kind of think he did. I kind of think sevens was good, but I totally agree with you. He got. He um. Yeah, that's that's a bit hard. It should have really been a Borum and Latin number. Yeah. We can say that for any week, I suppose. You know what I mean? I, I know, know just I know your yeah, point. Trio trio. Yeah, well. I, know, I know your point with the three people, all right. Be but being but I, think, a trio. I think I think when, when if you're in a competition, like we we're saying before, if we're in a competition where it's one dance decides whether you go home or not, well then it's very difficult then mm. to to put something if 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 like I said, you have bottom whatever it is, and you chose something else in. But even no one's done before. It needs to be. I think it's the right time of the season when there's two dances. To, yeah. to have it in. Yeah, but even even like looking at other yeah. dance styles, there is always a, a basic of of a dance. If there's a cha cha, you know there is a, a cha cha basic. If there mm -hmm. is a samba, there is a samba basic. If there's contemporary, you know the style of contemporary where it it looks ugly. It, I mean, not ugly, but you, you can have flex feet, and it's kind of easy. There's no technique to it. But yeah. jazz, yeah, I mean, but yeah. jazz, it's a little bit more free is, form. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. What what can you? Do? I mean, it's a great style. I think I think it, to get probably to get the best out of a jazz piece, you would have to do Broadway, yeah. which is yeah. which, so, which exactly. is debat de debatably another dance form in itself. Yes. Which is the ver it's the very fussy, um, mm. you know, uh, charity sweet charity type thing. Mm -hmm. But that's a little bit more fixed. Then sort of drag runs, split loops, kicks, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah, right. disco more. That's jazz, you know. And so let's move on to Jacoby, Karina, and Cheryl for the pasta doubling. And I felt this with the, the third person. I felt a lot of times she would be removed, and mm -hmm. then it would just be the two of them dancing. Mm -hmm. I thought this was okay. It was very powerful and strong, which is great for the pasta. But for me, it wasn't his best dance that I've ever seen him do personally. Yeah. No, I think it may not. be with the three people. Maybe mm -hmm. that's why I think that. Yeah, I think so too. But he can jump, hey. He oh can my jump, gosh. Up, yeah. <laughs> the gimmicks, those gimmicks, though. It's like. Yeah, right. well, well, you see, that's, that's the thing then as well. Like, because I think, like, I really like Jacoby. Don't get me wrong. But um, I, I do think, I think it was strong in relation to his size. Mm, and, I, and I think that's I think that's a big thing because he, cause he certainly has that presence, mm -hmm. and, and and that's what I'm talking about with, with with Kelly's dance as well. You you have to get the characteristic of it, because because I think when when you see his um see his runs and stuff like that, I mean they're not like they're not like strong paso walks or strong paso run, and I think that's the difference. I think I certainly think it had a lot of dominance in it, yeah, which which I think makes it the paso doble. Mm -hmm. For sure. Um, as far as strength through your steps or whatever it might be, that's what I didn't see. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And not that I was looking out for it, but I, but I just think as as making points of stuff, I think that's what I was. And I think I think jumping over someone's head as well. 
is, is, is very different to a uh, Shasta cape as well. Yes, mm. exactly. Point. That's yeah. a really good point, actually. Yeah. I think everyone has their disadvantages and advantages. I mean, some advantages are disadvantages. Ali, she's young. She, she hasn't had the life experience <laughs> as someone who's a lot older. And what we're also forgetting is, Jaco I mean, in the dance world, especially being a ballroom dancer, your centre has to be very, very, cl very, very tight. And, I mean, it's very, very hard for tall dancers in the ballroom world to be coordinated. And Jacoby is very, very tall. So <laughs> yeah. for his coordination, he's got this rhythm, which is like amazing to watch because he's so tall. Yeah. And you're like... That, that's what I mean. It's, a, it's not in relation yeah, to yeah, itself. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I mean, in the boring world, if you're tall, you, you just called lanky and uncoordinated. Hey, I'm short. Is that what you're saying? Give it up for a I feel it's very general then. No, I, <laughs> no, I do wish I was a lot taller. <laughs> But then you wouldn't be you, pal. Then no, exactly. It works for you, so don't wish no that. No regrets. Yeah. But yeah. Too quick to be tall. Yes. Have you seen him run? Well, you wouldn't have seen him run, but oh <laughs> my god. I've seen him run. I've run laps. <laughs> run laps. <laughs> and they got a 25 out of 30, which yeah. I thought was fair for that dance. It just wasn't my favorite. Mm -hmm. Next up was Ingo Kim and Lindsay with the jive. Mm -hmm. Again, I was. His feet were a little flappy on those flicks and kicks, but that's that's learned. A yeah. learned technique, I'm sure. But. Yeah. It just wasn't. It, I felt like it really brought his personality out, and I was happy that for was, him that yeah. he got that. So that was a big point of it. He, he smiled all the way through it, and, and he really, he really, yeah. really got into it. And I think again, that's the only thing you're left with at the end. If if you want to, if you want to critique it, well, then there's a lot to find. Yeah. But but uh, but as far as how you feel afterwards. When you're looking at someone smiling and laughing, that's, that's what you remember. Definitely. And I think and he definitely got into it. Yeah, he really, really enjoyed that. I know he really <laughs> yes. did. I mean, I mean, who wouldn't? He's dancing with, like, two gorgeous girls. Um, but, and they managed to get a great double bum spin, which I don't know yeah, how right? they yeah. managed to do that, because that's really difficult for a guy to do. Holding those two girls, Balancing like, whipping around. Balancing two girls, yeah. I know. Um, but uh, I, I just, uh, I've got a soft spot for Ingo. Like, mm. I, I think he's great. Yes, he's a good I guy. just, yeah. <laughs> I, think he's I, I love the start of it, where... Um, the popcorn and the glasses and everything. And Florence Henderson was right yeah, there. Yeah, my, right oh, really? so my parents were right behind there. Oh, really? Yes. My parents were right behind there. Oh, so they, had they the got free glasses. glasses, on. Yeah. <laughs> glasses free awesome. popcorn. They get a whole free show, <laughs> too. I like that. So we're trying to hurry this up a little bit because we're running out of time. But uh, <laughs> Kelly, Derek, and Tristan for the Pasta Keep it clean, folks. I, I thought that was terrible. I'm going to say this. I'm going to own it because I'm... Okay with that, but I genuinely cried watching this dance. I always cried watching Dance with the Stars for some reason, but I felt like she finally, I saw it. Like I saw yeah. it, a fully realized dancer with her in that dance. And I liked that it was different because the concept, no one had done that this entire mm -hmm. season. No mm -hmm. one's done that in a lot, making the dances kind of blend together. But that's why almost. I, yeah, that's I think it's why fantastic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what I, it feels like a show. Whenever Derek does something like that, it feels like a, he really genuinely thinks about it, um, and, and that's uh, applaudable. But back to Kelly, she was, um, she was amazing, phenomenal. I mean, obviously Tristan will have more insight than, than all of us because you actually got to dance with her. But mm. to watch it, I watched it in the dress and the show, and it was it was stunning Just as both good times. as it was both times. Oh, yeah, nice. definitely. It was good because you can feel everyone in the audience, like, have chills. And it was oh, silence until, like, they finished. And it was, like, even when they finished, it was, like, a... And then everyone got yeah. up. And like, what just happened, yeah. yeah. That's, a, that's could, the difference. And you could mm -hmm. really feel, like... This, you can see the story. I mean, you can tell that she went into the other world. And I loved it was, that. It I was yeah. loved pure that. genius, yeah. I thought it was fantastic. I keep calling you off. I don't mean to. Sorry. No, that's yeah. Right. <laughs> so, same thing. I think. I think. No, I thought. What, that. What, <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think what's great with, with, with Kelly is, is very similar to Zendaya in the sense that that Val and Derek never have to hold back. They don't have to worry about holding nope. back. They just they just kick in. And and I think um, certainly from from looking at Kelly all week, but but uh, as well being involved in it. Um, again, the the points were it was it was how strong she looked. And uh, again, I, I don't mean this is pat myself on the back, you know what I mean? But the fact is you, you don't only have one celebrity who, who's gone all out, or one professional, sorry, but but I got a chance to, to kind of to dance out as well, you know what I mean? And and, and, and Kelly spent the majority of time in between myself and Derek. So um, How'd that feel? Even, even if we were kind of dancing <laughs> against each other, if you would say, um, she was smashing everything out as well. And, mm -hmm. and it could have been very easy because of how hard we were going and because of how intense the music and how epic the music was, it would very, be very easy to see something flail in the middle. 
mm -hmm. because because you see something hit hard on either side and, and you'd look in the center to see where it kind of softens up but it didn't mm. and uh, I, I appreciate that you said that about Val and Derek's dances that the that all the professionals that were involved were allowed to really dance yeah. mm -hmm. and it wasn't just like a professional dance it was the celebrity was there but all of you really got to let go and deliver yeah. and I like yeah. that a lot I think that's what you see and, and that's the difference I think when you look at the competition as a whole when you, when you can see the people that you don't you forget for a second that they are celebrity yes yeah. I like them and last but not least of course is Ali, Mark and Henry with the jive I thought this was so fun I thought there's the dancer that I want to see right mm -hmm. there. I thought, and even though she has such trouble counting the music, of course, mm -hmm. I thought um, she had really good musicality yeah, for the most she part. Does, yeah, she does. Yeah. She definitely count more to eight, at least sixteen. Yeah. Oh I yeah, mean, come on. But, yeah, <laughs> that's the thing. I, I kind of, I was, over, I overheard her kind of talking about it in the rehearsals, and um, she was saying that she actually can get, like, she's getting better at counting it now. I mean. It sounds like she doesn't know how to count. It's not that, oh, right? Yeah. I mean, she doesn't know. It's hard trying to find the counts in music yeah. that you're yes. not familiar with. Yes. Because when you, because every day when you're sitting in the car <laughs> listening to a new song on the radio, you don't count it One, for two, a second. No. You know what like, I mean? That's weird. You don't do yeah. that? Exactly. <laughs> so, so it's very difficult to learn how to count to music while you're trying to learn all these steps and stuff. But, she, but she, she's certainly getting very better. Uh, she's getting a lot better. And, and again, the, the same. Mark, Mark and Henry didn't have to hold back on that. You know no, I mean? yeah, I liked nice. that one. Yeah. I, I, I did think it was... It, it, it was when I watched it first, I, I actually thought they were doing jazz first yeah. before before I saw the before that, I saw the, the jive. Yeah. yeah, I was gonna and say I, it's and a wasn't bit sure. Broadway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I so I think that's kind of like what we were saying about about Sean's dance. They could they could have flipped them, and, mm. and and I wouldn't know the difference. And I don't mean that in a bad way. No, but no, but no, just no. but again just just as the style was, it they were dressed quite jazzy. Yes, yes, but, it's but there was definitely jive in it, and, and it yeah. was and it was enjoyable to watch. And, and and again, Ali kept up, and and she's a powerhouse. So she, I mean, she yeah. kept up with with Mark, who goes all out all the time, and Henry, who can who can kick whatever. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? yeah, yeah. I would have loved. Really I mean, I did love the number, but it kind of felt a bit monotone for me. I would have loved it because it's hit the road, Jack, and it's a that jive. I mean, it started off great and the story was there, but I was waiting for some, like, high power kicks or some sort of interesting dance group where all three, all the two boys kind of did something to her. Because she's, I mean, she's a gymnast. That, she can do she anything. She can do anything, yeah. That's what I mean. But she, yeah, was, doing but a, but she was doing a jive. She's doing a jive. No, but I mean, yeah. like, power-wise, I would have yeah. loved to see her, like, knock it out of the ballpark. I think she was yeah. playing it a bit safe. Safe. I, I agree with that. And yeah. I mean right. the number yeah. looked great. I and the two boys did an amazing job. But I think um I would have loved to seen her like I mean it is a jive and the background yeah. of the jive. I, yeah. I think oh. the music has a big part in it though as well. Because I, I look I, mean, I yeah. really like that song, Hit the Royal Jack, but I personally find that song a little bit monotone. Yeah, yeah it doesn't exactly. really exactly. there's no progression exactly. in it really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I think that plays a big part in it. And I can't wait, because I think she will make the final, I, I think. Yeah. And I can't wait to see her freestyle. If all four For people sure. get to do their freestyle, I think she's going to knock that out of the ballpark in the freestyle and I think that's what Mark's waiting for. It'll for yeah. sure that that final will be amazing yeah. but I think that's all with the time we have for oh. today. I'm so sorry. Oh, I know. Nice. I, this right. has been amazing. We'll thank, see you tomorrow. Thank all of you. Oh yeah, we're just going to keep talking. Just <laughs> yeah. keep, keep watching. But I, if where can we find you on Twitter? Emma, go first. You can find me at Emma Slater Dance. That's E M M A S L A T E R D A N C E. And Sasha, where can we find you? Uh, you can find me at Sasha Faber. Yes. Pretty All right. <laughs> and Tristan, where can we find yeah, you? I'll be on there somewhere. <laughs> not, not too often, Looking up. but I'll be on there somewhere. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm Jake Dupree, and you can find me at Jake underscore Dupree. And thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next week. Bye. Thank you. From Bing.com, executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. 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 The views expressed herein are those of the host only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.